Oh, hi everyone. So I haven't been live on here for ages. Um, I'm probably going to go live on my Instagram as well page after this. Um, I just thought I'd jump on quickly because tonight, I think it starts tonight anyway, is a new series of um, Married at First Sight. And I remember when that show first started years ago, um, I watched it because anything where it's experimental, I think even Love Island years ago, I mean, I watched it when uh, it was Celebrity Love Island, Bianca Gascoigne, so you're talking maybe 10 years ago when it first started, I used to watch and then I watched it a few times after. The point is, um, reality, some of these reality TV shows, the dating ones, because even there's so many programs I used to watch, so Are You The One, which was on MTV, when that first started, that was about putting 10 single people, um, 10 men, 10 women, and they had to match up. And I liked the idea at first, because I watched the first series, um, it was different. You know, even things like Temptation Island, where you have couples who um, are going on an island and then they sink, they separate, and then they have singles and they bring them in any single format sometimes. It's for me, I'll watch it first because I'll think, oh, this looks interesting and I'll just want to see, you know, what it happens. The more it goes on for, the less real it becomes because then it starts becoming scripted then they start choosing particular and what they don't realize this is just my opinion but i'm sure lots of you feel this way is if something is working because there's the curiosity there because it seems like oh what's going to happen and it's not predictable and it seems like an experiment then people are going to tune in but if something is so staged so scripted so obvious that they've put it together why would people, well, I suppose people still continue to watch, but they'll probably get a bigger audience for lots of these programmes if they sort of left it how it was when it was more like raw and more natural. But what I think really is that it's lots of these dating shows that have changed people's perceptions of what dating is about and the reality. So people are watching these shows and they're thinking that they have to be really dramatic, create drama in situations. They feel like they have to look a particular way or they have to behave a particular way. Um, and it can affect people then with how their like ideas of what it is, what dating is like. Because if you're watching these programs and that's all you watch, and the same as if you go on social media and that's all you see, you're probably gonna be sitting there thinking that, oh, I've got no chance of like meeting someone and having a like, <clears throat> long lasting relationship. Or, um, you know, maybe men or women don't wanna be with just one person because you know, from what I've seen on all of these shows, they're just interested in like auditioning for like lots of different people. Or maybe if I don't show like lots of flesh, then I'm not going to get anyone interested in me. Or maybe this, and people will come for counselling and they'll say things, you know, around the idea of they don't feel, it's not even that they don't feel good enough because of these programmes. It's more of like, sometimes people will feel they have to pretend or be someone else in order to be noticed or in order to, um, be someone be interested in them and I'm here to tell you that you don't have to like behave a certain way or look a certain way or dress a certain way be yourself you know that's really all you can be there's always going to be people that are going to reject you because you're not their person but then there's going to be lots of other people that are going to be interested in you but you can't keep being a chameleon and change and um you know what you do and and everything about yourself just so that you can attract the person because you might even attract the person but maintaining that relationship then is going to be difficult because you've only achieved that relationship by not being yourself you so it's been it's been under false pretenses anyway so you need to just focus on what it is that you need and what it is that you want so the way that you can do that and this is sometimes what i've done with my clients i've helped them to do is to have a list of the must-haves and your must-haves, don't put too many things that are like, I wouldn't call them superficial, but that are just basic things, like someone's height, or someone has to have certain shoes or dress well and that sort of thing, because that's not really going to tell you anything. It's going to tell you a little bit about, them. well, height, height, someone's height can't tell you nothing really, that's how they were born. Um, how someone dresses, that probably can still tell you something, but is that going to be like a deal breaker? you know, versus something like, say, someone's character and someone, if someone has, um, you know, is committed to the same values as you, or if someone is, say, if you need, a, um, if you're spiritual and you need someone that is also spiritual or religious, that is probably going to be more of, say, a deal breaker to lots of people, because I've even heard people say this, if they're going to be going to church every morning on a Sunday and their partner 
is just not religious at all. That can cause an issue because they're going to have to question, ask then at church when people are asking where's your wife or where's your husband, they have to explain. They also don't feel connected as much. There's lots of little things. So I think instead of like when you're watching reality TV, just treat it as entertainment for what it is. Some of these shows, even years ago, I used to think they were like real and genuine, like celebs go dating. That's another one that's like, I think I've watched one series of that before I realised, because the people on there were single, but they're celebs. And I used to actually think, when I first watched it, that it wasn't like set up. I thought these celebrities really are looking for love and stuff, but it's not. And the thing is, it's only afterwards, because you see that everyone is like um, going on one date and things, and then they're separating, even on Love Island, they're getting together, and then straight after they've won, then they're separating. Um, or these people are putting on such an entertainment, such a dramatic act that you're thinking, this can't be real. You know, people don't really act like that. They don't like keep kicking off every second or having arguments and things. And it is just for entertainment purposes and that's completely fine. But don't base your idea of what a relationship should be or is like based on that. Some relationships might be similar to what you see on TV, but you can create the relationship that you want um, yourself if you know what you want, if you know what the deal breakers are, if you put yourself out there and you find the right person, ask the right questions, spend time in that person's company, then that's what you can do. Don't like, um, even films as well, like anything you can, I mean, I think there's some really good um, points that you can take from, if you see like a say a celebrity couple and you see how they interact or even a couple that you see around you in your circle, you can sometimes be inspired by that and say they're such a loving couple, the way that they interact with each other. They're so respectful, the way that they talk to each other. This couple is, um, you know, I'm inspired by how they are as a couple. Maybe that's how I would want my relationship to be. But never, like, look at someone else and then, like, you know, kind of be envious or be trying to, like, emulate that or try to say that that's the reality. The only reality you have is your reality. So you decide what relationship you want. You go out there and make that type of relationship and yeah, anything's possible from there. So let me know what you guys think. Let me let me know what you think about, are you going to be tuning into Married at First Sight? I'm not going to be watching it. I tried um, a few times. My friend on YouTube, he does a channel where he, um, what does he do? He reviews it. And the same as with um, some of these other programs. I can't, I can't anymore. I think once you get past that point where you know it's not real, and I know that it's reality TV anyway, so obviously you know there's an element of it that is production um, will get involved. But when you can see it's so scripted, heavily scripted, and you can see that, because you'll be having two people, it's like when I used to watch um, The Only Way is Essex, because even that, when it first started, that was entertaining, I have to say. And then all of a sudden you've got two people, they're standing there talking normally, and then all of a sudden they start shouting at each other and it's like an argument and you're thinking, what, what are they arguing about? Where, where's that come from? And you can tell that production has either told them to argue or they've been given a script at the beginning. So-and-so will walk in and then you'll start arguing because it's so obvious, it's not real. Um, so I think, I know that these shows are entertaining. They get loads of views. Obviously they're still on TV. That's why they're getting um, the people watching, the audience. So take them for what they are. You know, it's entertainment, watch it in that way. Um, I won't be watching, but if anyone is, then yeah, just leave your comments, let me know what you think. And if you've got your own YouTube channel where you do reviews of some of these shows, like, as I've said, um, Married at First Sight, there's quite a lot of people that review that show. Um, Love Island, there's people reviewing that. Then um, yeah, continue to do that because we can learn things as well from every single show that's on TV. We can learn things from every single couple. Um, that is around us but yeah it's just don't let that become your reality so thanks for watching everyone and please feel free to leave your comments let me know what you think share this video if you think other people will um, benefit from it and I'll see you all soon bye